I was about to start filming, but I need to pee. Woo. All right, Woo. daddy's empty. I have owned this SC300 for about two and a half weeks now. I've driven it almost the entire length of the United States, so we've had plenty of one-on-one -on -one time to get to know each other. So today, I'm gonna tell you guys 10 things I hate. Kick to the camera about my SC300. Let's do this. <laughs> First things first, I don't know why, why Toyota and Lexus decided to do this. Because it is somewhat of a sporty car. My biggest pet peeve in this car is that it has an open differential. How am I supposed to skid around town and impress my homies if I got an open diff? How am I supposed to impress my boys at the car meet if I can only do one wheel peels? I ain't gonna impress nobody doing one wheel peels going around town. I need both my tires to spin. I need to go sideways. Number three. If you guys own an SC or you know anything about SC300s, you know how big of an issue this car has with its tachometer lights dying. Like half of this display works. Like the needles, dead. That the, the gas gauge, that needle's dead. Problem four. If you know me, you know I'm really, really picky about this. Cup holders. That's cool, we have a cup holder. Oh no, we have two cup holders. But here's, here's my issue. Your boy needs some electrolytes, okay? Your boy needs a Gatorade in his life, not just water, because water doesn't hydrate me like Gatorade does. But hey, guess what? And then, I don't know who, I don't know who designed this right here, um, but cool, it, it fits. It, oh, oh, it just fell, okay. But what happens if I take a turn? Problem number five. This actually might be the most irritating thing, at least for me and my experience with the car, but I don't know if all SC300s do this whenever they get old, but this one sure as hell does and it really gets irritating. The climate control system. The best way I can describe to you how the climate control works is it's kind of like a teenage girl. At the end of the day, you don't have any control over whatever the hell that girl does because she's gonna do whatever the hell she wants to do. This is similar in the sense that if you want it cold, it doesn't matter. It's gonna do what it wants. If it wants to be hot, you're gonna burn your nuts off. If it wants to be cold, you're gonna freeze your tits off. I know this doesn't count. I'm not gonna count this as one, but dude, this headliner just... <laughs> Problem number six. I don't have six fingers, so I'm gonna do five and then I'm just gonna tell you I'm gonna hold up one extra. The starter. I don't know if it's Lexus's fault or not, but this starter sucks. It still works as long as the car is like somewhat warm, but uh, it's very, very, very weird because if it doesn't start, grab this big pipe and just smack the crap out of the starter. And then it works again. Now Grant, I, I, need, to, I need to change the starter, okay? Don't yell at me, I know, but it's irritating. Number seven, five plus two. There you go, I have two hands this time. This car is notorious for, for some reason, leaking its power steering pump. Thankfully, it has not happened to me, and thankfully, this one does not leak, but the power steering pump on these cars, and I believe naturally aspirated Mark IV Supras, they both suck. It sucks, okay? I am too, okay, all right, here we go. Come on, number eight. The stereotype. I'm gonna clarify, this is not the poor man Supra. People be telling me that this is the poor man Supra. Be Ho! I'm gonna smack you and then apologize. Cause I'm nice, but I like ST300s. I also happen to love Supras. You know what, if I have the choice, I own both and I will. Let me own my SC. Kiss my tit. This one, this one kind of irks me a little bit. I don't know who designed this, but they were wrong. This glove box is tiny as hell. 
I don't know, maybe you only own one glove. You're not really keeping much in here. This is, it is made for a glove. Oh, finally, you guys are probably thinking, oh, this video's almost over. I don't have to listen to this bozo talking anymore. For the tenth and final thing I hate about this car, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and slide into these DMs real quick. Now, this is not, this This is a, this is definitely not a uh, factory steering wheel. I think, I'm pretty sure it's a GS400 steering wheel. I don't know. One thing that is somewhat common on this car, I'm pretty sure, is, oh, this still works, still telescopes. But the thing is stuck in the highest position, and and that sucks because I'm sitting here driving like I'm I'm way down here, and my steering wheel's way up here. I'm just I'm I'm dying. I gotta drive like this. This is not fun. If you guys have ever had to drive like this, then you know that that's not fun. So I could get that fixed, guys. Thank you so incredibly much for watching this video. I want to remind you guys that I absolutely love it. I don't regret purchasing it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and also like this video. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next video. Peace out. Be victorious.